Hello and welcome to the, the Sandbrook, Sandbrook Adventures! Where it's time for the third vlog from our time here on the beautiful Disney Dream. We're having a great time so far and make sure you check out the two previous vlogs in the playlist if you haven't already seen them. Today we're here in Cozumel, Mexico. I think we're saying that right. We've heard so <laughs> many ways of how to say this. Oh no, you know what? This morning we came for breakfast, same again in Cabanas, which was really nice. So much choice. And also we were treated to the Disney magic pulling in next to us. So literally parked right next to us. We was all waving at each other. It was so sweet. It really was. Yeah, I got that little shot there of it pulling in, which has been fantastic. And here we're going to make our way now down to deck number one and get off the ship. You need to have your cruise ID card and also another form of ID, uh, like a passport or a driver's license, just when you get back on. And we've got to be back on board for 4.45. Let's go and have an explore. This is when you realize just how huge these cruise ships are. They're massive, aren't they, when you stand in the middle of two of them. Of course, we're on the left there on the Dream, and this is the magic on the right-hand side. Came down to deck one, we were expecting to queue up, and we were straight off really easy, weren't we? I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh, we'll be queuing to get off, but there was literally nobody there. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Really nice and organized. It's a scanned uh, cruise card, and here we are in Mexico. Right now we'll be back on here for lunch. We're going to come and have the most, make the most of it we may as well, aren't we? Buffet lunchtime is so good. And then we'll come back off again again and have another oh, explore but uh, yeah look at this everyone of course down here has booked to go on some sort of tour or excursion we're not doing that we're just gonna have a little walk around Kazumo just here because why not I quite like just staying around the port area and it's one of them if we come here again we might do an activity at some point but for me it's now just having a walk around enjoying the sunshine and seeing the area there we go that's a good photo and also these are the best views that we'll get of the ship as well here in Castaway um, because obviously you know we've been up there on the ship and we boarded it from the terminal in Fort Lauderdale but you couldn't really see the scale of the ship so yeah this is really nice to see close up really lucky to see the two cruise ships next to each other here today it makes a fantastic photo opportunity and there's us just over there the Disney dream and the smaller Disney magic just over here still a gorgeous ship though I do love the color scheme of Disney Cruise Line of course the colors of Mickey Mouse yeah, beautiful to see them both next to each other just there. Make some fantastic photo opportunities. These are nice little photo opportunities. The compass is just down there on the floor. And there's a look back towards the ships again. Oh, I love just looking at two Disney ships there together. And we've also just come through this little white building, haven't we? Yeah, so the check-in to see if you bought any food off the ship. There's loads of bananas and apples that people have tried to bring in. You can't bring food in. Yeah, just like into Mexico, I suppose yeah. that's their rules. Here we go, it's kind of a little walk around. It doesn't feel like many people have got off, to be honest. No. Uh, it's kind of a bit of an explore. So yeah, lots of buildings down here. Uh, I've not really read up much about this area at all, but I do like having a bit of an explore around. I do know though that we're on an island just here in Mexico and it does look like quite a big area to have a little walk around I'm sure there'll be loads of shops and duty free and all that kind of stuff to explore and yeah quite a lot to just have a stroll around doesn't look like there's a, a directly a beach or anything here does it or a beach yeah, club it doesn't but we did find out on the cruise it is Mardi Gras today yes that'll be cool there's some sort of celebration going on yeah that'll be nice to see yeah, let's get have a bit of a walk around and see what uh, this part's like I've never actually been to Mexico before Oh, that's a huge cruise ship out there. I can't tell which one it is and which cruise line. Oh, that is massive. And then here we've got our two ships again. <laughs> I love to see all these different angles. I've got a bug climbing up me and Charlotte's got the bug spray on. No, I'm not good with mosquitoes. So I'll spray myself. <laughs> oh. oh, there's one on my glasses. Oh, no. So we've just come up an escalator and this leads out of the main port area. So we're going to have a bit of an explore. Got this nice lighthouse just over here, all the palm trees, a few restaurants and bars and things around here. You've got Starbucks just over there, Hooters, it's in your frog just down there as well. And yeah, if we carry on around this way, that leads us out of this main kind of port area by the looks of it. Some juicy free shopping, and then you're kind of out of this area. Yeah, very different to the ports that we did when we was on the Mardi Gras. Looking forward to having a bit of an explore around. Bienvenidos, welcome. Lots of different shops around here. We love a good gift shop, don't oh, we? I love a gift shop. <laughs> Diamonds International. You know, your diamond shops and loads of places for like duty free items. Quite nice, all the palm trees. Yeah, we're still not far away from the ship, just the other side. That little building over there. Lots of shops around here, which is good. Love having a bit of a walk around and explore. And then there's this massive sign just here. Yeah, you've got to get them in, haven't you? You know, when you go to these ports. 
as we make our way around doing different cruise adventures, seeing these different ports. Having the big photos and then put them all together. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shops all the way around the edge just here. Another entrance to Diamonds International. And you've got these little tents, a little bit like being back at Butlins. So we've just come out of the main port area. There's a lot of shops to see, so we will have a walk around them later on. We thought we'll start off by going a little bit further out, away from the main touristy areas, and uh, having a bit of a look around. So yeah, we just stepped out where the taxis are to take you to places. Yeah, so we're gonna walk out here. <laughs> and uh, check it out. Yeah, very different to what I was expecting, not gonna lie. I was thinking, yeah, it was gonna be a bit more like the ones that we did, like Amber Cove and Grand Turk and stuff, you know. So it just doesn't look very well presented. Yeah, I think mean, that's yeah. the, the way to describe it. But still, never been to Mexico before, you know, so it's uh, ticking off another country. Yeah, let's have a bit of a walk down here. Looks like it's getting a bit stormy, actually. A few hotels down here, looking over the front. And I quite like these little statues that they've got, all painted up. They're some of my favorite things we've seen so far. And that's the thing that you could just nip off and stay in that main like shopping area, have some food and then get back on the ship, you know. Uh, that's the thing, you don't have to uh, stay off the ship all day if you don't want to. In fact, you don't even have to get off if you don't want to. Yeah, the ships are part of this over there. I definitely recommend though, if you go into one of the ports, getting off and having a bit of an explore and seeing it, you never know what you might find. What a lovely photo opportunity with this man. <laughs> He's got his sombrero on just here as well. He has, what a great photo opportunity. <laughs> There's a look at one of the streets, they all look very similar really. The little shops and the palm trees, but I've got to say, there is a horrible smell in the air, it isn't it? It smells so bad, it's actually making my eyes water. It's bad. It's like right. proper like sewage. sewage. It smells yeah. so bad. It is, it's not nice, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's only as we've walked down here a little bit. It wasn't bad back there, but oh yeah, as we come down here, it does smell. My eyes are actually watering. Yeah. <laughs> There's a hard rock cafe just over there. That's like the most basic hard rock cafe I think I've ever seen. I, like, I do like these seahorses though, we walk past a snail just as well. Maybe it was the one that Charlotte ate. <laughs> Never mind a Mardi Gras celebration, the shops are all shut. <laughs> That's the hard rock just over there. I mean, is that official or not? I'm really not sure. There is a Starbucks next door. That's the nicest building that I've seen along this front bit. So we're coming off the main front now, heading into the town a little bit just here to have a walk around. It's a Sunday today when we've come in here, but yeah, a lot of the shops are closed. I'm not too sure if that's like a standard thing or not. In Mexico on a Sunday, never been before. What's that going on over there? Oh yeah, there's a stage area set up. Wow. So we are thinking, was Mardi Gras yesterday? Yeah. A lot of the stalls were packed up. There were some beads chucked on the floor around there. So I don't know if we sort of like, you got it wrong when it was yesterday. Yeah, I mean, was, what's going on in there? The, cru the cruise director was like, oh, it's Mardi Gras, it's going to be really busy, going to be really bustling. Like, was he having a joke? <laughs> Interesting, you could have a walk around there. I do love just seeing different places, different cultures. That's quite a nice sign, just down there. This is like a main kind of square around here. This is very different to what I was expecting. That's the beauty of this channel. Oh, both of our channels, we'll always show you how it is. And this is, yeah, definitely one of those where I either wouldn't get off the ship next time because I've been, or I'd book an excursion for this one. I can see now why quite a lot of people probably had the excursions booked, they might have been here before or seen it and thought, yeah, let's do an excursion. So uh, I kind of wish we had for this one. But you don't know until you have a walk around. <laughs> There's a nice look at this clock tower. It's got quite a lot of character about it. It's the little wooden buildings down here. These have got a lot of charm about them as well. And you've got Woody's just there, which is like a little bar. It looks like kind of like an art gallery as well, doesn't it? Or pictures on the wall, unless it's one of them kind of cafes where you can buy the pictures on the wall. That's quite nice. Quite a few little shops and bazaars all around here. Little bars down here as well. Frozen daiquiri, margarita. Just in this shop then. Quite a lot of Dea de los Muertos style merch that you can get in here. Keychains? <laughs> sombrero! Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> Fat Tuesday! <laughs> Little tiki bar just over here. Close. That's nice on the wall just there. I love Cozumel. And you've got all this set up for the Mardi Gras celebrations that might be happening today. I'm not too sure. I guess we'll find out. We're still not that far away from the ship. We've walked probably about 20 minutes away just over there. It looks like one ship from this angle now. <laughs> Small little beach just over there, <laughs> tiny, with the palm trees that you can see. But you can dip your toes in the water, I guess. That looks fun. If we ever book a cruise, 
if it comes here again, we'll do that. We'll do that. That was one of the excursions, wasn't oh, it? So cool. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, we saw that advertised on the app. That looks great. Expensive though, I think it was, wasn't it? That? I can't remember how much it was. Maybe about $80. Yeah, it'd be worth it though, I think, if you come in here to do something like that. This is quite nice just here. Fountain package. It's not actually turned on, but I thought we'd come and have a look at it anyway. So I saw it from the distance and thought this looks quite interesting with the design of it, like the big archway. He's diving just there. Then you've got all the fish, like the corals down at the bottom. Yeah, it's quite nicely designed. We've been walking around for about another 20 minutes or so and not really seeing anything worthwhile showing you all in the video. Especially when we have got Pirates Nightly coming up tonight that we're looking forward to on the ship. Hopefully more fireworks, lots of entertainment, more lovely food to be having as well. So we'll save, of course, plenty of time to show you that later in today's vlog. Horse and car rides down here. And we've walked back to the little cruise terminal here. And then what the plan is, we're just going to have a look in that direction now, see if there's anything to see. Then have a look through some shops and then we're gonna get back on the ship have some food have a bit of a chill and also get on the wi-fi and try and find out if there's going to be this carnival this mardi gras celebration because it looks very quiet but we have seen a couple of people like arriving dressed up in taxis and stuff so yeah we'll see what happens hotel costa brava over there some little stalls and shops down here tattoo parlor off to the right all these different buildings, got a bit of character to them, these buildings have around here. A few little bars. Yeah, we'll have a stroll down here for five minutes or so and see what there is to see. You know me, I do like having a good explore round. Well, I'd say this side's a little bit nicer than where we were just. A bit more finished off around here. Some nice little plants around and you can still see the ship just over there in the distance too. We're going to go in this Mexican supermarket, aren't we now? This is going to be really exciting. I like seeing different supermarkets and how they differ around the world. Let's go in and have a look. It's called Mega Soriana and we don't know if it's actually a supermarket or like a full shopping centre. I guess we'll find out. Oh, it's massive in here. Look at this. All the bikes for sale over there as well. Yeah, it's like a big kind of Walmart style shop. Oh, it's huge. Well, I can't get over the size of it in here. It's massive. Yeah, they sell everything. And of course, you look at that initially and think, oh, $648, but it's not, is it? So it is Mexican pesos. They do accept US dollars here, but it would be in the smaller little shops. Yeah, it's also probably better to pay like in the local currency you as well. In the local currency, because if, if you were to pay in US dollars, you wouldn't get the best exchange rate. Yeah, and you'd be getting charged more probably as well. That's what normally happens. But yeah, it's worth coming in just to have a little look around. Back outside then now, and yeah, it seems very cheap though in that supermarket, as you kind of expect, isn't it really? I need to double check the exchange rate, because I'm not too sure what the pesos is to the pound, but I can remember it is normally quite cheap in Mexico. Yeah, it looks like it. you got genies just over here, breakfast, lunch and dinner, so that's quite nice, and also waterfront views down the other side as well, a little bar area. It was really weird, I was just saying to Charlotte, oh, would well, it be a big carnival supposed to be happening around here? I'm surprised there's no rides. Turn the corner and literally there's some funfair rides down here. Oh, cool. Yeah, this will be funny. Let's go and have a look. They're not operational, unfortunately. They might be later. But let's uh, go and have a little mooch down here. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. We've got the wacky wormness over here, caterpillar coaster. I don't know if this will be operating later or not, but I don't know why it's parked over there instead of being parked here in the station. Look at this. Couldn't think I'd be walking around an abandoned funfair today. I thought maybe I'd be in a pool or relaxed on a beach or something, but uh, here we are, because I'm on Mexico. <laughs> walking around this abandoned funfair. Oh, this is quite eerie. Got a Music Express ride just down there. I love those. Quite a few juvenile rides. And then there's a pirate ship at the bottom. And that's about it, I think. <laughs> Pumping with atmosphere. There's Woody and Jesse over there. See them again on the ship. <laughs> Is this thing past its MOT? I'm not too sure. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's on the road. Look at the seats on it. As you drive around, Charlotte. No, I do not. I reckon that belongs to this funfair just over here. You can't drive that, Charlotte. I mean, the tyre's looking pretty good, Nick, to be honest. I don't know. Look at the seat. Oh, what's happened, Charlotte? Just looked down, saw a mosquito feasting into my arm. <laughs> get that cream on straight away. You've got the bucket there, you're very organised. I'm so bad with mosquitoes because I get really bad allergic reactions so I have to carry these around They love coming for you, don't I they? I know, but they literally go massive, my pints. <laughs> <laughs> this place is like the nicest place down here in my opinion, genies. We're going to walk this way now, back down to the main cruise port area and probably get back on the ship shortly. Like I said, we'll do a bit of research and come off later on. 
We've got Alberto's Bar, Club and Restaurant just over here. The best tail you've ever had. And here he is just over here. <laughs> I do like Mexican music. It just makes you want to get up and dance, doesn't it? In another shop just here now, back in the port area. I like all this painted kind of pottery. It's very colourful. That's the thing with Mexico. Things have got nice colours, haven't they? All these just here. Uh... <laughs> some chilies and tomatoes. So we've had a bit of a mooch around some more shops here. We're going to get back on the ship, have a bit of a chill, have some lunch shortly. Just wanted to show you a map, though, of the island of Kazumal just here. And we had an explore around Centro, downtown. Kind of got a good walk all around this area. We've also got the airport a little bit further back, cycle tracks, this looks quite interesting just up here as well. San Gervasio, quite a bit further back into the island though. And then yeah, as you can see, you've got like hotels, El Cedro just down there, looks quite interesting. And then up here, you've got the two beach clubs. Yeah, that's where a lot of people seem to have gone. You've got the Islands Beach Club and the Tequila Beach Club, but of course, they're both exclusive uh, and away from this area, and you do have to pay to go to those. If we ever booked a cruise and came back to this location, we would definitely go to one of those just there but so uh, it's one of them we didn't really realize I think for us this is only our second ever cruise when we went on the Carnival Mardi Gras we stopped at all three uh, destinations and just stayed around the port and they were lovely weren't they you know so nice. Sort of expect it to be like that, but at least we know for next time. Yeah, that's the thing, it's about uh, exploring and seeing different things. So, we're going to get back on the ship, uh, have some lunch at the buffet again, uh, have an ice cream, have a bit of a chill, have a bit of a cool down. It's very, very humid, it's like 29 degrees Celsius, but humidity is high today. And then we'll come back onto the island a little bit later. Back up here then on deck 12, and yeah, a lot of people have decided not to even get off the ship today. Pool area is quite busy down here, and people are making the most of it. Now, we've just got on the Wi Fi, we've done a little bit of research uh, about the Mardi Gras, haven't we? So it's not until this evening, it's like <laughs> 6 till 10, and we'll be gone. Yeah, so uh, to be honest, I don't think we're going to get back off the ship, are we? I think we're just yeah, we may as well make the most of it because they've got something quite cool coming up, haven't they, surely, that we're going to do? Yeah, so they've got like an open house of like the kids' area, but there's some really good theming in there, so we'll be able to go in and take a look. Yeah, normally you wouldn't be able to because obviously, you know, it's just for kids, but uh, yeah, that'd be opening up so adults can go see the theme in and that sort of thing, so that's it's cool. Open house. Yeah, like photo opportunities, so we're going to go and do that. Of course, we've got Pirate Night to look forward to as well. And yeah, I've just been doing a bit of research, you know, um, about what there is nearby. And there's quite a few things, but obviously, we'll need to get a taxi or uh, book onto one of the official excursions. From looking on Google Maps, it's about a 20 minute drive down to the beach club area. So yeah, it's quite far away from the main port just over here. And here's a look down at the Disney Magic. Very similar in terms of the color schemes and designs on there, but yeah, quite a bit smaller than the dream that we're on just here. Still looks like a lovely ship though. Slightly different pool configuration down there in the middle. And they're always cleaning. Look at them down here, making the most of a port day. Cleaning all the sides. We've made our way back inside the ship into the grand atrium and so an exciting has been set up over there. We'll come on to that in just a moment. We just wanted to kind of summarise our time at Cozumel, Mexico. It wasn't really for us, was it? No, it wasn't. It was nice to go and see it, but I think if we were to come to this port again, we'd definitely go and do an excursion. 100% or just stay on the ship because there's loads going on and some of them things we're going to do this afternoon. Uh, but no, it was really nice kind of seeing it, um, you know, and saying that we've been to Mexico and had a bit of a look around, uh, but I certainly wouldn't rush back. or. I'd book a cruise uh, what didn't include this one again you know because we've been here and seen it I was just expecting based on of course when we did the Carnival Mardi Gras last year we stopped off in Nassau that was gorgeous to look around uh, along with that you had the stunning beaches right by the port itself and then also Grand Turk and Amber Cove were both really nice as well and kind of like the private beach retreats were right by the ship here you've got to of course pay extra for them um, which is a bit of a disadvantage but still we know that for next time and uh, yeah we've got lots to look forward to this afternoon including someone's getting married on the ship and setting it up i can't wait to see it we're gonna be able to see a disney wedding now of I'm course gonna cry. <laughs> they do them on the ships and in the parks as well never seen a disney wedding 12 30 here in the atrium so we're gonna come and be a guest and watch from a distance which will be really nice and uh, also along with that we're gonna go and check out the uh, kind of kids club area now and see all the theming in there so let's go to the open house how awesome is this we're in the ocean air club and they've got all these different clubs for different age groups. And now you can just come in and have a look around. Oh, the Toy Story one. 
Is there? Oh, that's cool. Disney Infinity. Just in here, so yeah, basically like you've got all these interactors and things going on. This is awesome. I think it's great as well how they open it up so you can come and have a look around. And uh -oh. Yeah, because that's the thing, they know there's a lot of Disney fans on board and I know they've got like a lot of hints to the parks and Imagineering and things as well. To be honest, this is like made up for the day already, hasn't it? <laughs> like, I'm glad we stayed on the ship to see this and of course the wedding, <laughs> which is coming up shortly, 12.30. Look at all the lights in the ceiling as well. This is cool. There's Woody into Andy's room. Oh, this is awesome. There's RC. Oh, this is brilliant. This is like the best part of the ship in here. Oh, amazing. It makes you want to be a kid again. This does. Mr. Potato Head, there he is. Toys down there. Finally seen him. I've not seen him on my magic board. All the drawing. All the wallpaper and everything. Rex, this is brilliant. <laughs> the Toy Story on just there. Oh, this is fantastic. Slinky Dog. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Got this big kind of dance floor in here as well. Oh, it's very echoey. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. This is awesome. And we've got the Star Wars Millennium Falcon just over here. I'll be back in the parks. Of course, we will be next week. This is cool. Pirate the Millennium Falcon just there. So I've been back on Smuggler's Run, isn't it? That's it. Oh, Charlotte's off. For another galaxy. Whoa! <laughs> this is, I've been back on the ride, all the buttons interacting. Wow! And the good thing is for the keys clubs, all included in the cost as well. So if you are coming on here with kids, you can drop them off here, the cast members will look after them, you can go and enjoy the bars and adult stuff. Great. Well, this kind of reminds me of like, the waiting area, you know, for Smuggler's Run with the table and everything. This is fantastic in here, all the theming's really good. Love all this. <laughs> <laughs> switches everywhere. I've got to say, this is fantastic. In a way, it's a shame that normally it's just for kids. Like, they could do with having like an adult one of these. Oh, for the big time. kids like us. Yeah, it would be great, wouldn't it? Like, this is fantastic. Really good. And we've got Pixie Hollow right next door just here. <laughs> Theming's excellent. It's all the floors, the ceilings. Look at this. Quite low down. <laughs> I guess it is designed for kids, though. Oh, this is so cute. That is all these different theme spaces as well. <laughs> what a great space. Yeah, they've got one for teenagers down near the front of the ship, and there's another one next door as well that's open a little bit later, so we'll probably pop in there and have a look. That space in there is fantastic. It's so well themed, and there's loads going on, isn't there? That was brilliant in there. The theming was so good, it just makes me want to be a child again. The Toy Story room was definitely my favourite in there. Big Toy Story fans we are. Anyway, we've got a wedding to go to, haven't we? I am so excited. I was not <laughs> expecting this today. Yeah, we're going to watch the wedding just down here in the atrium, which I'm sure is going to be wonderful. Piano, it was beautiful. It was really nice. We just stood up on the top there watching the wedding. It was I had lovely. My tissues there, wiping my tears away. Oh, tears full of them. Really nice wow. to see a Disney wedding here on the ship. And we've just been to the cabanas for the buffet again, all packed up down here now. And we're going to go and check out the other kids' club, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's open just down here. So we're going to have a little look inside and see what it's like at the open house. Why not? And here we go inside the other kids' club just here. Open for having a little look round. A little lounge just over there. This is quite nice, same sort of setup with some different theming. Oh, there's like areas over here for the kids to do some drawing, like all the pens just down here, and that just over at the side. You just sit down and watch some Disney movies too. Very nice. <laughs> this is quite good for the kids. You've got the Ports of Call simulator just over here too. There she is. <laughs> so you still like your ship and where you're going. Love and then you're steering the ship. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Oh, the kids' clubs are fantastic for the little ones and great to go to the open house just there. Right, what have we got coming up now? So we are going to the drawing. So we're going to be drawing one of a classic Disney character. Then we're going to be going to a general knowledge trivia quiz. Yeah, and that's just down here in the district. So this is the adult area at night, but in the daytime, it's home for families as well because they have a lot of the activities down here. And this is in somewhere that we've not been yet. A little pub area just down here on the left-hand side. That's quite nice, they've got some games and things that you can play as well. And there's also some nice pictures of the ship under construction just here. That's fantastic. Of course, them lovely sea views just out on this side as well. You're just logging in, like the badges a bit, we do have our animation. So we're going to be drawing a Minnie Mouse today. Oh, fantastic. Let's see how we do, Charlotte. Getting ready for the spots here, big day for spots. In America, of course, Super Bowl, yeah. Make sure that they get a good seat in the house as well. Minnie's mouth. <laughs> I've messed it up already. Go back up. <laughs> uh, Trying to, to move it a little bit. What we're going to do is add in Minnie's eye socket and pupils. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Minnie's eye socket is going to be resting I'm going well. on the nose bridge right here. It's coming up the... Uh, Getting on good there, shall we? Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is not going pentacles. well. I've messed all this up. Antenna. The wings is close. <laughs> but antenna, oh, oh my goodness. No. Alright, so the, uh, just thinking of the uh, butterflies and tuna, we're gonna stand like right And there we go, you just signed your artwork and here's the end result after about 30 minutes. And so uh, yeah, here's my mini. And there's Charlotte's. See how with mine just here, I think it, the ears a bit too close. And then the cheese just here, yeah, that's where I really messed it up. Uh, but I'm glad that I did move the nose up, that's the thing, you want to do it light first and then try and, you know, sort it out before you colour it all in too dark. And there's Charlotte's. Yours looks really good. I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah, yours is definitely better than mine. I messed up on a few uh, key bits just there. But still, <laughs> it was good fun doing it. And of course, there's the one that was done by the cast member just there, of Minnie Mouse. Well, that was really good fun there doing the drawing. Even though mine didn't turn out the best, we did have some good luck though with the quiz after, didn't we? What? Hey. So we was on a team of three because a lovely lady called Isabel who was on her own was like, can we join your team? She was so good at general knowledge and we actually won the quiz. Like, I can't believe it. Like Without her, we'd have got like two or three. Yeah, she was really good. Yeah, she was fantastic. She's done over 90 cruises. What a lovely lady. We were just sat there chatting, but that's why we didn't get any footage because we were just having a lovely chat. With yeah, her. and we got these. So without her, we wouldn't have got these. So big uh, thank you. I really oh, appreciate it. It was a 20 so question general knowledge quiz. We thought it was going to be a Disney quiz, but it was like general knowledge there she is hey! oh, 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 oh she's lovely she is isn't she? she is such a nice lady oh but uh, there we go nice little souvenir for my disney cruise we are winners tonight yeah, yeah she honestly helps us along there really nicely uh we got goofy just down there dressed up a pirate yes it's pirate night everybody's coming ashore now there's like half an hour to go until we're going to be leaving the port uh, Captain Up just over there as well. And Mickey Mouse is supposed to be out somewhere around there as well. I wonder if he's dressed up as a pirate for tonight. Hey, there he is, Mickey Mouse. Awesome. In his pirate outfit. Oh, I love seeing all the characters around the ship. And it's pirate night here on the Disney Dream. That's my pirate impression. <laughs> Okay then, so we just come back to our stateroom after an afternoon of activities here on the ship and they've gave us these lovely Pirates of the Caribbean bandanas. And here it is on my head. <laughs> <laughs> We've also just had a bit of a nap, haven't we, as well? Cruise naps are always the best. You're looking the part there, Charlotte. I know. I'm, we're going up onto the top deck to what Mitty and Minnie's Pirates in the Caribbean, but it's going to be so cold up there and the boat is rocking. It is rocking a bit tonight. It yeah, is. like we've not really found much movement so far. Um, but yeah, we are getting quite a bit of rocking tonight. So yeah, I'm just barely waking up after a bit of a sleep. Uh, but we're going to go and head up onto the top now, deck 11, for this show. So it is very windy for the show, so we're going to try and get the best shots that we can, but it is so windy.
Gómez. So you have just seen some highlights there from Mickey and Minnie's Pirates in the Caribbean. Now that was a really cute show, all the characters dancing, Captain Hook came along. It was a really good family show, really enjoyed that, it was just so much fun. But it was so, so windy. Now you might be thinking, I've got change, where's Sean? Sean is feeling a little bit seasick. The ship is rocking so much. I've just spoke to our housekeeper and apparently they've got to change the direction of the ship because we're rocking so much. You can really feel it on the top deck. You're just swaying from side to side. So hopefully he feels better in the morning. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look around the atrium. There's quite a few characters coming out. And then we've got the other stage show on the top deck and even some fireworks if it's not so windy. And here's the atrium, there's Minnie. Oh, she looks so lovely in her pirate outfit, which is so nice to see. Now you might be wondering, with food tonight, we were supposed to be going to Animator's Palette. It is rotational dining, so we have got two nights in there. So we'll be checking that out tomorrow. Exactly the same restaurant, just a different menu. So we'll be able to share that with you in there. But yeah, there's Minnie. There's gonna be more characters coming out. I believe that Stitch is gonna be coming out somewhere, so we'll have to try and catch him. Oh, we've got Captain Hook up there. There he is, he's not happy, stomping his feet. Great to see so many characters in the atrium. And I found Stitch, I love his pirate outfit. He's got a little eye patch on. Oh, he looks so sweet, I love Stitch. He's one of my favorite Disney characters, so to see him on the ship is fantastic. So, back up on the top deck now, ready for the next show, which is Buccaneer Blast and Club Pirate. And hopefully, we're going to have some fireworks. We've got about half an hour until the show, but it, again, it is so, so windy and it's very quiet up here. The Super Bowl's on tonight, so a lot of people are watching that. They've got it showing in the theatres and in some of the bars, which means it's very quiet. Oh no, it's raining! But what is good is they are giving people blankets down the bottom, which is really good, but it is so, so windy and raining. I really don't know if the show is going to go ahead, but if it does, be sure to get you some shots. But yeah, the weather tonight is just not great, unfortunately, but we'll make the most of it. It is so, so windy, my oh, hair is an absolute mess. I'm not too sure if the show is going to go ahead because it is so windy, it's raining. What is good, the cast members are giving blankets out, so at least you can be a little bit warm while watching the show. <laughs>
few minutes of highlights there from Buccaneer Blast Club Pirates. And that show, I really enjoyed it. Jack Sparrow was there, they were doing some singing, some dancing, they got the character involvement, which was really good. And also, we got the fireworks! I wasn't sure if the fireworks were gonna go ahead because of how windy it was, but luckily for the show, the wind did stay down, which was great. But to see fireworks at sea was just so exciting. We also had the character show on that was before that, and that was brilliant. Mickey, Minnie, and all the gang in the pirate outfits getting everyone singing and dancing which was really good we started off our day with a trip to Cozumel in Mexico it was really good going to see Mexico and it was a port that we'd not been to before it wasn't one of our favorites because it wasn't finished off the best so if we was to come back to Cozumel in the future we'd definitely book onto an excursion or book onto the beach club just to say that we're doing an excursion which would be really good we also went to the open house for the kids areas and that was excellent i enjoyed that so much some fantastic photo opportunities in there so if you are coming on a disney cruise and you see the open house be sure to go and see it we've just seen so much today we saw more characters we've done quizzes we actually won the quiz which was really good um, it has been overall a really good day so much more still coming up in the next few vlogs that we've got from our disney cruise but thank you very much for watching and have your own adventures bye